the Sabrent Rocket 4 2TB is a new drive based on the PCIe 4.0 interface. This SSD is available as a standalone unit or as a bundle with its own heatsink. And today we have the bundle variant, with all the bells and whistles. However, can this new drive handle the task? The Sabrent Rocket 4.0 is a new drive and it is available in multiple variants, both with a heatsink and as a standalone product. In terms of storage, the Rocket 4 is available in three variants, 500GB, 1TB and 2TB. The one featured in this review is the King of the Hill 2TB variant with a heatsink. This one is priced at around 280 US dollars and that's not really that bad given the state of the market right now. The design of the Rocket 4 is reminiscent of the entire Sabrent Rocket series, with the same design shapes on the front label, however, the Rocket 4 features an all black with bronze accent on its label. Speaking of the label, as is the case with most if not all Sabrent models, this label has a thin layer of copper on its underside. This will dissipate some of the heat generated by the controller of the SSD. It also serves as a good interface for a heatsink and removes, no pun intended, the need for removal of the label and voiding your warranty. The SSD has a standard 2280 form factor and I'm saying this for the new people in the area. A 2280 form factor is easy to understand, it means that the SSD has a width of 22mm and a length of 80mm, and that makes it compatible with any 2280 M.2 sockets regardless of what device it's being used. When we talk about the accessories, there is plenty of material. First, the SSD is delivered in a metal case, with a thick foam pad inside acting as its tray. This type of packaging will ensure you that the SSD will be delivered in perfect condition, unless a two-ton vehicle runs over it. Afterwards, it's basically just luck. This model of the Rocket 4 has included a beefy metal heatsink. This product can be bought as a standalone unit, but in our case it's part of the accessory bundle. The heatsink has a few items included as well. It has a small Phillips screwdriver and four mounting screws, and that's pretty much it. The heatsink is made from several parts, however the highlight is the thermal interface. Three copper made heat pipes that will move the heat away from the SSD and dissipate it using the metal structure of the heatsink. Much like many other M.2 SSDs that Sabrin made, the Rocket 4 uses as its core the Fison PS5016-E16 controller, often rebranded as Sabrin PHSBT RKT401 on some SSD models. This controller is the first commercially available controller that has the PCIe 4.0 interface. The cache of the SSD has a total size of 2GB on the 2TB model of the Rocket 4 SSD. This DRAM cache uses two 1GB SK Hynix DDR4 chips for the total, before mentioned, 2GB of cache. These chips are installed on both sides of the SSD. For storage, the Rocket 4 uses Kioxia bi 64 96 layer TLC memory chips. Each memory chip has a total storage capacity of 500GB, which means that the Rocket 4 uses a total of 4 memory chips for its 2TB storage capacity. The installation of the SSD is simple, however it will vary based on your motherboard. Some have dedicated heatsinks, some do not, so please check your user manual for more info on the correct procedure. The used system for all storage testing is centered around an Intel i9-9900K which is running at its factory settings and frequency. The first test in our review is a simple file copy test, essentially you duplicate a 96GB folder on the SSD and see its performance. And throughout the entire copying procedure, the Rocket 4 to terabyte averaged a speed of 1.6 gigabytes per second, and this was for the entire file copy process. This places the Rocket 4 2 terabyte on the second position in the file copy test, right behind the Neo Forza 2 terabyte drive. The Rocket 4 is ahead of many other PCIe SSDs that I've tested so far. The next test is simple, it's a basic benchmark using the Crystal Dismark software. This benchmark is widely used to test all types of storage devices because it's easy to use, free, lightweight and reliable. And in this test, the Rocket 4 is on the 5th position when it comes to the writing speeds. However, for the reads, things are a bit different, as the Rocket 4 to terabyte is on the 3rd position in the graph, next to the Rocket Q4 and the Silicon Power US70. 
The next test uses the Atto Disk Benchmark, a software that uses multiple data packages to test the storage device. It's reliable and offers a wide array of data for us to use and compare with other SSDs. And in this test, the Rocket 4 to terabyte is on the second position behind the Rocket Q4, and that's for the real segment of the benchmark. In the writing segment, things get lower as is the case with all SSDs. However, the Rocket 4 to terabyte maintains its second place position. The next test uses a video game to measure the performance of each SSD and the game used is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, running at 1080p with all settings turned at their maximum values. And in this test, the Rocket 4 to terabyte is pretty much where we'd expect it to be, right on the same level as other PCIe 4.0 M.2 SSDs. When we talk about the temperature, this SSD without a heatsink will heat up and reach as much as 67 degrees Celsius while running Cyberpunk 2077 at maximum settings. However, once the heatsink is installed, the temperature drops to 48 degrees Celsius, a great result from such a heatsink. The Sabrent Rocket 4.0 is a great drive, it performs well in all tasks and can handle some heat and some heavy wear. The included heatsink will drop the temperatures by quite a lot, 19 degrees Celsius to be exact, and that's not a small task, especially for an M.2 SSD that uses a Fison made controller. One thing to keep in mind, not with just this M.2 SSD but with all PCIe 4.0 SSDs, is the fact that you will not get their entire performance if you do not have a system that has the PCIe 4.0 interface. This is the case for many platforms on both sides, Intel and AMD. These drives will work just fine on PCIe 3.0, but with a lower overall speed, which is why in some reviews you will see speeds in excess of 3GB per second, while in other reviews you will see speeds going over 5GB per second. And now you know why that happens. In terms of the pricing, things are all over the place and it's nobody's fault, especially ours, the consumers. The market for many types of products is just wrong on many levels. If you can find this SSD for around 250 to 280 US dollars, then it's a good buy. Anything above that and you will already have the better option available called Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus. The performance is good and the design is great, it's subtle and has no RGB, thankfully. The heatsink will add depth to the design, but a lot of motherboards will not be compatible with this type of heatsink because of its dimensions. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more, and if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Subastar pages of this channel.